Welcome to the deep ocean. What wonders await you in the darkness? Can you devour the tiny fish in time? Jellyfish are all around you. Can you see them? Shake the light. Shake it. Jellyfish can live forever. Can you? Please be careful in the deep ocean. It's easy to stumble. What stirs in the deep? Mayhaps you can shed some light on it before it consumes you. You did it. It was a snugglefish. Yes, there is such a thing as the snugglefish. Really, you can buy a stuffed one in the gift shop. Make sure you keep an eye on little ones. You don't want them to get lost. Witness the amazingly cuddly snugglefish. A stuffed snugglefish toy makes a killer gift. <laughs> This fish makes a plush toy that is to die for. So cute you'll say, I want to eat you up. Thank you for visiting the deep ocean. Were you undelighted? I bet you weren't. That was the majestic hall of jellyfish. Were you entranced? I bet you were. Congratulations, Hunter. You have what it takes. Now take a shake light and descend. You are now entering the deep ocean, home to many strange and mysterious creatures. Bear witness to their world of... Predators seek out the phosphorescent glow of their prey. Do you have what it takes to hunt in the darkness? I bet you don't. Gervison's has revolutionized the modern shopping experience. Everything here is automated and handled remotely. See, when the red light's on, the speaker is off. That means it's safe for me to talk about how we get our meat from... What? What is it? Oh, jeez! Uh, what I was saying was, it's safe to talk about how we get our meat from... Nowhere. Gervison's. Picking up soda for the big game? Maybe for a big party? Only Gervison's has a soda city big enough to handle all your biggest events. Our deli offers a variety of creatures that can be fried, barbecued, roasted, and toasted. Stop on by! Our freezer section is all frozen up. We're working on getting it fixed, but we're sure at least one freezer door is working. We here at Gervison's promote family values by offering great values to great families. Destroy! Destroy! Hear that? Abazor action figures are back in stock by popular demand. Hey, but get away from- Free sushi samples in the back! They are delicious! I smell an octopus! Is the octopus here? How about over here? Maybe octopus is right over here! Where are you, octopus? Hmm? I've got you now, Octopus! Ouch! Oh, oh. Well, since you asked, I have some strong opinions! Let me start from the beginning. Some people would say, this is about international fishing rights. Some people are wrong! Little do people know, cod are deadliest fish in the sea. They mass armies. We must strike at once. Now is no time to fight over petty territories. They know us. They know our weaknesses. They hide among us. I saw it in last war. I chopped them up. They were not men, only fish inside. Piles and piles of fish. I see them everywhere. Fish? They know what they did! And that concludes my story, miss. Thank you for listening. Now, let us take a moment of silence to honor brave soldiers who sacrificed for us today. <coughs> Curse you, Octopus! I will find you! I will always find you!
find you! What? Who are you? Stowaway? Something is different about you, Captain. Hmm. If you really are the Captain, then dance the Captain's Jig. Interesting. Such movement. Wow. A fine jig. But can you tie a sheep shank knot? What kind of knot is this? You are not the captain. You are not even human. No, no, no. You not get it. He was octopus. He just does. I'm not crazy. You not leaving until you understand. You see, he is octopus. I'm not crazy. You have them beguiled, octopus. But I still cut you down. Fried octopus coming up. He is octopus. What is wrong with you people? You are going to listen until you believe me. He breathes water for air. That is what he breathes. He is a fish. That doesn't matter. He is clearly fish. I smell something delicious. Maybe it is your feet cooking. If it's too hot in the kitchen, die! I wore my fireproof toque. The fire, the smoke, it is the war all over again. Don't trip. You might fall down and cook. Ha <laughs> ha, you're mine now, octopus. This is more fire than I expected. How does it feel to see your life going up in flames? This place burns as much as my hatred for you. Fire is opposite of water, octopus. Just like old times, octopus. Do not think because there is water you have the advantage. I have kept my eyes open in many pools. Water no longer blinds me. You should have stayed in the tank, octopus. There you are. I see you. My cleavers will find you. You will hide. I will find you. Step lightly, Octopus. It will not matter. You will fail. Can I find you? Yes! Too slow! I will serve you at discount. What is that rumbling? What are you doing, Octopus? Ah! I don't understand. He is an Octopus. How can you not see it? He belongs in the ocean, not in a suit. I just want revenge. Revenge for past crimes. You will all be very sorry. I hear you, octopus. I will eat your feet. I heard that. Where are you? No, no, no! No! What is happening right now? You really forgive me? Even for the war? Your family really loves you, Octopus. I not bother you again. Where have you gone, Octopus? You cannot hide forever. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's... Maybe it's open now. Take a shot and maybe do me. Priced sushi rolls. Slow down, so I can kill you. What's the matter, octopus? Stuck in a jam? 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, jam. Go away. Go away. Go away. Busy now. Cleaning. Yes. Cleaning. Busy. Come back later. There will be octopus sushi rolls. Your buccal mass is grass. You will be cut down. I will mow you down. How do I make this thing go forward? I'm going to figure this out, Octopus. Your doom will be imminent. Soon. Do you think one feeble gnome can defeat me, Octopus? Ah! Second gnome! I've got you now, Octopus! You fell into my trap! Octopus! Nowhere to run this time! Now, tell me, Octopus, what are you plotting? How many others are there? Why is everybody fish? It doesn't matter. Go back where you belong! Goodbye, Octopus! I'll tell your family. The bad news. Excuse me, ma'am? I have bad news about your husband. You must come with me to cafeteria. Everything. <gasps> Whack and heel. They will be when I'm through with them. She's marrying him? Doesn't he seem a little... Maybe his parents lost their invites. Why? She looks so beautiful in that dress. Well, he sure seems slimy enough to be. They're going to have such beautiful children. How did Scarlet make it down the aisle without slipping? In those heels? <laughs> what denomination is this church or shrine? Was your save the date card fish shaped too? I heard his bachelor party was crazy. The book was better. Those Swedish octopuses are tasty. I can't wait for the sequel. I thought this was going to be a shaky cam movie. Watch where you're going! Careful! You're stepping on my dress! Watch where you're walking! Watch out! My foot! Knock it off! You dunderhead! Are... are you okay? What? <coughs> <coughs> Shirtless Chefs of Maryland last night? The episode with the tomatoes? It was saucy. This milk says it's packed with vitamin G? Do you work here? Oh, I'm sorry. Does anyone work here? I choose Gerveston's because I can't get enough of Soda City. <gasps> the last Sports Johnson cereal. I hope nobody steals it while I look over here. What are you doing? <gasps> what happened to my cart? Give that back, thief! Give that back! My son Johnny will freak out if he doesn't get his Sports Johnson cereal! No! I need my... Uh, my kids need their sugary cereal fix! Uh, thanks. Uh, I guess I'll give this brand a shot. Hmm, that wasn't on my shopping list. Oh, okay. Please scan an item. In an attempt to save the environment, Gervison's has eliminated all forms of bagging. Paper and plastic are a thing of the past, just like human cashiers. Thank you for shopping Gervison's. You are my favorite customer. Hey, get back in line! That guy is cutting in line! Everybody boo him! Boo! Boo! Get out of the women's restroom, you deviant! How rude! I'm so excited to go to the deep sea exhibit. Fish are equally cute and really weird. Mmm, those biologists look like they're up to something. I never knew that about kelp. To think all these years I walked this earth, I never knew the wonders all around me. Machines that vend candy bars. What next? Hmm, wait. Last year wasn't this exhibit about squids or something? The World of Kelp.
Travel the world of kelp. How fast can you map the world's kelp forests? We hope you've enjoyed your journey around the world of kelp. What are the gas-filled bladders that help kelp float? Touch the top of the kelp to find out. What are the roots that hold kelp to the ground? Tilt the slider to find out. Kelp release male and female spores to reproduce. Get a male and female spore into each seafloor soil plot. Sea urchins eat kelp and otters eat sea urchins. Use the otter to save kelp from urchin extinction. Thank you for visiting the world of kelp. Please consider donating or buying kelp merchandise on your way out. <laughs> <laughs>「That crane game is rigged. He shoots! He misses. He shoots! He misses. He shoots! Almost! He scores! We're gonna drown! Drown! Aren't these endangered? Someday I'll be strong enough to pull the snake. So you think you can beat old Air Hockey Matt at his own game, huh? Bring it! How did you beat me? I've been training for so long! <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come that guy hasn't come up for air? Wow, man, you were born to play basketball. Hey, that guy's cheating. Come on now. The integrity of the game is compromised. We have rules in this society, mister. Rules. These games are for children. Hey, someone needs to tell someone that this guy's being a jerk. Stop, you're ruining the games for the rest of us. So did the rest of his family. He must really be nervous. He's sweating through his suit. I thought he was a lawyer. There are a lot of locks and bars in this church. <laughs> Jeez, how much hairspray did he use? I'm just here for the reception. I didn't think he was ever going to show up. I think it's more of a temple. Yeah, I didn't expect him to be such a party animal. No, uh, you got the wrong person. Well, I'm flattered, but I don't think Scarlet would approve. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Groom, the wedding is starting. Are you ready? <gasps> You're not even dressed. Make yourself presentable. She's waiting for you. I always stay for the secret ending. I wish I'd checked Megacritic first. I think this thing has jumped the shark. The sets were so realistic. Stop knocking stuff down. Hey, that was fishy. Careful, sir. Careful, sir. Personal space. You're in my bubble. You scuffed my shoes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me? Excuse me. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. Hi there. Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. It's an octopus. It's an octopus. It's an octopus. It's an octopus. Ah, 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 ah. Ah! 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 Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ah! Ouch! Ouch! Hey! Ouch! Hey! Ouch! Hey! Stop! Stop! Huh? Hmm. 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 Watch out! Look out, buddy! That Nasta soda is out of this world. I would get the new Abazor for my son, but I hear they promote robot violence. Why are all these freezers frozen? I wish I lived in Soda City. I drink so much milk, I think I'm utterly in love. Um, thanks. I guess I'll give this brand a shot. That wasn't on my shopping list. Oh, okay. Please be careful in the deep ocean. It's easy to stumble. Thank you for visiting the Curry Aquatic Fun Center. Sir, please buy something or move along. Sir, you have to pay for that. Oh, when am I going to learn not to trust free sushi? Oh, my whole day is going down the tubes. Oh, if there's anybody out there, tell my wife I won't be home for dinner. Oh!
for breakfast. Exhibits are through the turnstile up ahead. If you have any questions, please ask our talented staff of marine biologists. Hope your visit goes swimmingly. Hope your stay is fantastic. Have a whale of a time. Sir, you cannot go in here without a child. Don't make me call security, sir. Children and their legal guardians only. Enjoy the urchin pool. Responsibly. Hey, watch it with those things. Whoa! You better be ready to pay for that. Security! I forgot that learning can be awesome. Hey, kids want to learn about sharks? Have you kids seen any delicious fish, stingrays, or octopuses? Ho ho ho! My ampullae of Lorenzini allow me to detect nearby sea creatures. Be glad your parents aren't sharks, kids. We eat our own young! <laughs> Welcome to the aquarium. It's nice to eat you! Man, it's hot in here. <laughs> I just want my kids back. I could really go for a burger. Ah, the day is done. Time to head home. Alone. Like always. <laughs> I guess I'll have another TV dinner. Probably fish sticks. Again. My eyes! I'm blind! Curse you, Tapita Lucida! Who's there? Stop! That's mine! You don't have what it takes to fill my shoes. You don't know the first thing about being a sea creature! <laughs>
Why is the boat stopped? Where's the captain? We've come a long way from that. Let's not stereotype ourselves. Yeah, I'm sorry. That new cook on board? I heard he's a real piece of work. I asked him for seconds and he threw a pineapple at me. Well, I asked him for pineapples and he kicked me in the stomach. You know him, probably taking a shower. Is it just me or did the captain seem jigglier than usual? We're moving again. Praise Poseidon and his ever-flowing beard of clams. In the middle of a rainstorm? The captain's back, thank goodness. Start the boat, Captain, hurry. Head for the helm, Captain. The worst of the storm is coming our way. Captain, I think you left your radio on in the shower. I still hear singing coming from in there. 99 bottles of grog on the wall. Bob. 99 bottles of grog. Bob. You... What? That's fine. Now, please, move your peg leg so I can swab the poop deck. Our net profit went up. Good one. What? Net profit? I don't... Because... Because we're fishermen. Gonna get back to work. And she says, well, are you a girl or a buoy? They should really stop calling us sailors. Hey, And why is that? Can you see any sails on this boat? No. I guess we should be called engine boatmen. That's a terrible name, Timberly. The captain told me a real stinker the other night. What was it? Why did the cod cross the road? To get to the other tide. We should consider mutiny. Looks like we caught the cod father of all fish right here. An octopus? Throw him out of here. No one likes an octopus. Get out of here, you slimy thing. Nope. I've seen enough mermen and urchin girls to know where this is going. Captain, glad to see you out of the shower. Can you get to the helm and get us out of this storm? Captain on deck. Any orders, Captain? Yes, sir. Send all the fish you can find to the captain's quarters. Pronto. All I'm saying is that when the captain comes down here, we all tell him to... Oh, uh, hello, Captain. Captain, hi. We weren't... Uh, yes, we weren't working. We'll get right back to that. Sometimes I wish I became a maritime lawyer. I hope I don't see any octopuses. Why? I just... I just hate them. So much. I thought I saw somebody sneaking around the front of the boat. It could be my eyes playing tricks in all this rain. By Poseidon, that song's gonna be stuck in me head for years. Looking good, Captain. Whoa, what is that? I think I saw a woman on deck. I can't remember the last time I saw a woman. Two days. Fred, we've been on sea two days. Was that a sea monster? Good to see you, Captain. Now, if you don't mind, get us out of here! Whoa, watch out! It's an octopus! Toss him overboard! Pardon me, sir. 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 Hey, new guy! You aren't going anywhere till the deck is swabbed and the anchor's hoisted. Quick, sailor! Go get the captain! Hey, where'd my coffee go? Ah, <sighs> A little Joe keeps me up that extra 17 hours. Coffee is how I espresso myself. <laughs> yeah, something seemed a little off about the captain. 
Watch out, it's slippery out here. The old sailor handshake. My bruises have bruises. Sir, you have a striking resemblance to the cat of the day. By Poseidon! God dang it. <laughs> yeah, it is true. Ouch. Oof. Ow. 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 Ouch. Stop. 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 Stop it. Stop. 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 What? Hmm. Hmm. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Yar! 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 Oh, let me get a picture of this. Oh, hold still, dear. I want to get a picture of you next to this. I thought the aquarium was more... educational. Why are those biologists always checking you out? These strange incidents keep happening and you brush them off like they're nothing. Like when your foot got caught in the ceiling fan, or when we ran out of printer ink and you just made more. And I keep buying you toothbrushes and then finding them in the trash. Oh, you were really good at that crane game. Oh, but I shouldn't be surprised. You're such a handyman. There was that time you were fixing the sink and the disposal came on, but you wouldn't go to the hospital, yet somehow your arm looks good as new. Are you ever going to explain that? I don't get it. You love the ocean, but you seem to hate the aquarium. Remember when we were taking that cake decorating class? After that bakery burned down, I had a lot of questions to answer. I've always wondered what you keep in that musty old basement, but I respect your privacy. I wonder what our lives will be like once our kids grow up and move away. Maybe we'll finally have time to travel. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think turtles can really do that. I should write about the plight of the rainforest. I could catch a boat to the Amazon and take pictures of all the sad monkeys. Maybe then people would care. Stacy would be so happy if she could see you. You know, she thinks you hate dolphins. Well, we're alone without the kids for once, honey. We should really talk. Can we talk? Hey, let's have a conversation. You're usually so talkative, but when we're talking about us, you clam up. I don't need another, thanks. Looks like the rainforests are being cut down. I guess nothing lasts forever, huh? A frog? Well, that's sweet. I really... Oh, thanks, but these are actually kind of heavy. Oh, no, the tank has sprung a leak. My hands are full. Why don't you try to fix that instead? Hurry up and plug the hole! The endangered fish are in danger! Watch out for the piranhas! Here, use these. I don't want them anyway. You can use them to plug the holes. <sighs> Honey, be careful! Don't drown! Honey, you're mumbling. Say that again? I can't make out a word you're saying! Well, I have wasted enough time here. I've got work to do. When you feel like having a real discussion, find me at the shark tank. <gasps> the captain! I'm sorry for stowing away. Please don't throw me overboard. Really? Well, now we're both in trouble. Who are you then? Me? I was hoping to do a hard-hitting report on the war. But it looks like I picked the wrong war. <laughs> Aren't we a pair? Say, why don't we... That's Chef! He's been watching for stowaways the whole voyage. We'd better hide. That's Chef! He's been watching for stowaways the whole voyage. Wait! Before you kick me off, can I ask you some questions about the war? Uh... What is this conflict all about? Go on... That was a close one. I hope that man is okay. All right, all right. So what about you, mystery man? Who are you? Well, someday I'll get an answer out of you. In the meantime... Would you care for a dance? Octopuses aren't even fish. Honey, over here. Take this. Shove it into those fish's mouths. You're doing it, honey! 
Just two more. That'll show him for locking my family in a burning cafeteria. The pressure is increasing. Just one more. Watch out. Don't let him see you. That rumbling is the pipes. This thing is going to blow. Careful, honey. Steady. Steady. Oh, honey, you're okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. We've got to help the kids. Hurry, honey. I'll give you a boost. Stacy is on the other end of the cafeteria. Be careful up there. Get away from him, you brute. That doesn't make any sense. How would he even walk on land? Clearly. I guess you don't know anything after all. Well then, we're leaving. It's past the kids' bedtimes. It's an octopus! This explains so much. Honey? So, this news will take some getting used to. But I was imagining much worse. But next time, tell me ten years earlier. You look so handsome. I knew you wouldn't get cold feet. Do you need any help over there? Don't listen to them, honey. They're just fidgety from waiting. You're doing great. I know you like to tickle the ivories, but maybe you wait until the reception. Are you sure that's the ring? Maybe keep looking. Honey, where's the best man? Guess you'll have to get the ring yourself. He's just running late. He's always late. But what on earth is keeping him? Oh, live action was an interesting choice. The lead actor is dreamy. I had a hard time maintaining my suspension of disbelief. Honey, be more careful. Are you okay, dear? You need to step a little... lighter. You can be an oaf sometimes. But I love you. Jeez, you big klutz. Did you slip? Oh, watch your feet. Honey. Honey, what are you? This is all pretty nice, isn't it? Say cheese. Careful, sweetheart. Careful. Careful. Sports talent. Sports talent. something odd. What were you doing back there? Well, an answer would be appreciated. Mulling over some nice, succinct words. I'm not rushing you, but we should get back to the car. Maybe you're going to say, well, Scarlet, I work for the government to fight aquatic terrorists from Neptune, and this grocery store was full of them. All right. I'll wait. Is that it? All right, now that we've got our groceries, it's time to head to the aquarium. Well, that makes two of us. To the car, kids. Honey, it's really simple. You can come to the aquarium with your family, or you can walk home alone. You need a better sleep schedule, honey. You always get up so late. In a way, it's good the basement flooded. You've spent so much more time with us lately. My typewriter is out of ink. We've got more somewhere, right? Have you seen my Salty Hearts novel anywhere? Oh, hush you. I heard some crashing from the living room, mister. You know I just cleaned it last night. Oh, honey, how could I stay mad at you? Did you knock that shelf over again? I swear, Tommy gets it from you. Is everything okay in there? I had to clean up the kitchen this morning, you know. No more late night cooking for you. No, I haven't seen your keys around here. So much sugary cereal. Maybe we should get something healthier. Your mustache is getting long again. Might need a trim soon. Honey, did you read my latest article? I got an interview with the mayor, and I tore him apart. Verbally, I mean. So, I was stargazing last night while you were off in your man cave, and I snapped a picture of some strange lights. It's probably just a satellite or a lens flare, but, you know, what if it wasn't? 
I sent a picture to the Inquisitor magazine and they put it on the cover. You should pick one up, dear. Well, I can't be caught reading it. Just a reminder, two weeks from now, I'll be out of town on an assignment. You know Sherry from the book club? I caught her the other day eating a whole wedding cake. And nobody was getting married. I'm working on a little side project, dear. I'm going to expose corruption in the fishing industry. And I know just the ship to sneak aboard. That never stopped me before. I could really go for some of your famous cod mousse. Don't get too comfortable, dear. I've got a busy day planned for the whole family. It's a surprise. Hmm. Sferna Mokarin. Largest in the world? <laughs> we'll just see about that. Three bankruptcies since opening in 1960. Two directors in the last year. Yikes. My camera's getting a bit old, honey. Any chance you know where to find an M1 modified for motor drives? You ought to get some more sushi at the store soon. You go through it like Tommy goes through tennis shoes. No! Oh, my flowers! I know your birthday is coming up. I don't want to get you another tie. Oh, but that's all you seem to want. Oh, it's such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Yes, even worms are happy to be outside today. The ladybugs are really getting out of hand this season. I should pick up some insecticide before they eat all my flowers. Stacy, why are you pouring ketchup in your brother's drink? Well, dear, I've got a book on chemistry that'll teach you to make real potions. Watch where you're mowing, honey. Beautiful job on the grass. And you pulled all those weeds expertly. Oh, he did, did he? Why do you say that, dear? Come here, honey. Let me take a look. Stacy, why are your butterfly hair clips all over the yard? Oh, you're finally up. Nice to see you, sleepyhead. Wait! Don't go outside without your coffee. You remember last time with that weed whacker? Now that you're energized, I need you to take care of some chores in the backyard while I get some work done. There's grass to mow, weeds to pull, wood to chop, and don't forget to make burgers for lunch. Thanks, honey. I made your coffee just the way you like it. Sea salt and tartar sauce. Your coffee is ready, sweetie. While you're waiting on your coffee, could you bring Stacy some milk? Honey, what's going on over there? Hmm. Anyway, I have a surprise for the whole family. A free trip to the aquarium. I know you think aquariums are festering prisons of iniquity, but I've got to write an article for the paper. Can't you make an exception this time? For me? Oh, uh... Groceries. We need to go to the grocery store. We need things like cereal for the kids. Right, kids? Then it's settled. We're all going to the grocery store. Well, when the earth was... Well, um... Ah, uh, yeah. Kinda, actually. Tommy, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, honey, fish don't walk like that. You've got to hunt your back more. Tommy, stay still. I want to take a picture. <laughs> Tommy, come look at this. That rock there is a fish. It uses camouflage to hide. Well, in the infinite universe, anything is theoretically possible. Don't you just love marine life? You play enough games. Why not try the world of kelp? That sounds fungicational. Oh, this might be interesting. Tommy and Stacy are growing up so fast. Soon I'll need a bigger camera. Well, honey, the newspaper thinks I should write about the big new shark tank. And while I'm here, I might as well ask the nice aquarium people about where their money goes. <laughs> that might as well be true. They claim they've got the largest hammerhead shark in the world here. Okay, kids, we'll meet back here in two hours. Explore the aquarium to your heart's content and learn well. Oh, I've got a little extra time. I think I'll check out the rainforest. All right, let's go. Honey, are you all right? What has got you so spooked? <sighs> okay, I'll just have to add that to the list of questions. Don't worry, we're here for you. Now, let's get some tickets. Kids, have you seen your father? It's almost closing time. Where could he be? Another mystery. Well, we'll wait as long as we can. Have we met? Wait, I've seen you. Are you an old friend of my husband's? What can you tell me about him? Excuse me, little girl. Hey, you! Huh. Maybe no one is there. The dark is playing tricks in my eyes. Dang it. Why is it so dark down here? Did a fuse blow? That was rather... fish-like.
Interesting. You seem familiar. Aha! 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 Ahem. Ahem. Hmm. Ouch! Ow! Oh! Owie! 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 That pinches! Oh! That's my calculator hand! Stop! Stop! Watch out! Watch out! Something smells fishy. You always say that. He looks... familiar. Well, we can never know for sure. I love it when the aquarium closes. Why is that? So I can tap on the tanks and not look like a hypocrite. I'm just saying it's theoretically possible. If one of them could figure out how to breathe, they could walk among us and we'd never know. For the last... Time a jellyfish couldn't raise a human family. I saw an octopus zooming around the tanks earlier. You're hallucinating. There hasn't been an octopus in this place since the incident. The incident? You just forgot to lock the octopus tank. I swear on science it was locked. They escaped. Or somebody let them out. Who wants to go through the lost and found? Me! Me! I do! I could use a new watch. If another fish escapes, they'll have my bow tie for sure. Do you think fish feel? The sea has no feelings. Jeez. Some people. What's the matter, Bob? Someone went through all the exhibits and trashed the place. The deep sea exhibit gives me the willies. That new cafeteria chef was screaming at everyone to leave. He is a strange, strange man. Yes. Have you ever tried asking him for pineapple? Careful with that tank. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Kelp, I'm wet. Don't get me a towel. I wish the Amazon arcade was more educational. Well, I wish I didn't have to answer, how do fish breathe a million times a day? How do fish breathe? I'm going to throw you in the shark tank. I swear I saw something moving over there. My biologist's sense is tingling. Ew. No one wants to hear that. I feel like someone is watching me. Do you hear that? Sounds like fish slapping against the floor. Why is there water all over the floor? Something fishy is going on. You hear something coming from the break room? Eh, it's probably just Joe. Boy, Joe's making an awful ruckus in there. You should go see if that klutz is okay. Do you not see my hands are literally full of pregnant seahorses? Why don't you check it out? Okay, this is ridiculous. Joe, let's go in there and make sure he's all right. Hey there, Joe. You know it's closing time, right? You don't have to wear the suit. That guy really loves his job. Even without the shark suit, he's clumsy. Here we go again. Hey there, Joe. How was your day? Excuse me, sir. This stall is octopus! That's our Joe. Oh, Joe. What a character. Hey, what the heck, Joe? Joe, are you out of your mind? The only animal more vicious than a shark is an octopus. Can't a guy get a moment of peace? Glad that day's over. Yes, the patrons made more of a mess of the exhibits than usual. I wish people knew how to rein in their kids. One day we will teach people to respect the aquatic world. One day. That screaming sea slug must be in here somewhere. Unbelievable. He makes this huge mess, then splits. Hey, give Joe a break. He probably had to get home to his wife and kids. Knock, knock. Who's there? A whale? I... I don't get it. I know you're in that tank somewhere, Leafy Sea Dragon. You can't hide forever. I will expose you, Leafy Sea Dragon. We really need to buy stronger glass for the piranha tank. This happens every day. You get what you pay for. <laughs> How low can Joe go? Octopus! Get that cephalopod! The Interoctopus Dofliani has gotten loose! Get him! What the herring? Holy shrimp! Son of a bivalve! Okay, on the count of three. Two. Wait, my shoe's untied. No, it's not. There's just a garden eel on your foot. Well, would you look at that? Okay. Ready. Nope. What is it now? My garden eel's untied. I suppose we should wait for the others to move. I sure hope nothing happens to this giant pane of glass. Whoa, watch where you go, octopus! Whoa, Joe, you're a maniac! I guess sharks can't stop moving. Am I right, Joe? Hmm, yes. Let's see, if we move the stingray to the kelp tanks... Hmm, but if we introduce this new squid, it looks like there's some increased algae growth. Hmm, but would the food chain be disrupted? We'll have to order more carp. What a load of carp. So, you guys, you guys saw that thing moving too, right? I did. I just didn't want to say anything. I thought I was going crazy. Should we check it out? Later. We have more important work to do here. Aren't you on bathroom duty? While you're in there, do you mind unclogging the toilet? You there. Where's your regulation haircut? That new guy doesn't really fit in, does he? 
Hey, wait a minute, you're not Joe. Joe's not going to be happy if he finds out you're wearing his head. He spent years sewing that thing. No, Leafy Sea Dragon, you were my only friend. What are you doing? Do I have to come down there and show you how it's done? Can't you see I'm busy? Why are you standing around? Get back to work. Quit seahorsing around down there. You're so clumsy. Do you have butterfish fingers? That's it. I'm coming down there. Ha ha ha! Do a Joe impression. Ha 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 You smell like rotten fish. Dad, Dad, over here. Dad, Dad, Dad. There is a sprinkler lever over there. I can't reach it. Be careful, Dad. Don't fall. Don't worry, Dad. I'm safe. Just hurry up or I'll toast like a marshmallow. I can't get to the sprinkler switch. Too much fire. I need a pad. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. The fire makes for such pretty lighting. Yes! It's raining now. Run like a pony, Dad. Go, Dad! Use the power of love! Look over here, mean pants! Dad, I just need a way to the sprinkler! Hurry! Super throw! Love powers my anger! It's Dad! Nobody else knew? Just because you're right doesn't mean you're not crazy. Is any of this real? I'm glad we can all sit together and be happy friends now! I found these little glow sticks, but I don't know how long they're gonna fight off the darkness! Dad, if I get lost in here, come find me. Come on, Dad, catch the little glow fishies. Catch it with your feet. Wow. Mom told us you two used to go dancing, but I didn't know you had moves like those. So if you were a bigger fish, you would catch the smaller fish and then raise them to be big fish. Right? <laughs> hey, Dad, <laughs> what's a shark's favorite sandwich? Yeah, butter <laughs> and jellyfish. Sometimes when I get scared, I pretend I'm something brave, like a cloudosaurus or a hippogriff. Do you ever get scared, Dad? <gasps> ah! I forgot I was scared. <gasps> That's what lives in my closet. Oh, no. Dad, it's one of those science men that you're afraid of. Give me the shaky light. Watch. I am but a jellyfish. Glow, glow! I'm going to swim around and sting everybody while I connect Holly. Dad, I think there is something really scary in here. Dad, I think that fish is growling. Why does it have such big teeth? Mom doesn't usually let me play around electrical sockets. Dad, I can't go up there. I'm not Tommy. I follow the rules. Dad, you gotta switch it so it works right. Or I'll be stuck here forever. Dad, help. I'm lost. Dad? Dad, 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 dad. Dad, 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 dad. Dad, please don't leave me alone. I had a nightmare like this once. Why? Why is there no one else in here? Today I learned that fish get scarier the deeper you go. When we escape this place of nightmares, can we get ice cream? Hooray! Dad, can you imagine if there were bugs all around us right now? We wouldn't see them. They could be everywhere, even your ears. Mom would be holding my hand right now, but I like that you're trying to make me more independent since I realize you won't be around forever. But for now, please come back! I think the dark is like the light for these fishies. Like, maybe they are afraid of the light, and when they go to bed at morning, they have their dads turn off the darkness so they can sleep. Dad, if there were aliens, would they come from space or the deep ocean? The other day, Tommy was watching Brain Suckers from Neptune. Isn't Neptune the god of the sea? I bet fish have really busy lives full of wonder, hope, sadness, and dreams. When I grow up, I think I'll be a fish scientist. That or fish. I haven't decided. 
Sometimes I dream about swimming in the ocean and hearing something calling from deep below, calling me towards it. It turns out to be a seahorse ranch. What do you think they do with the lost kids? Use them to clean stinky tanks? Throw them to the fish to eat? Turn them into mean biologists? Dad, are there mummies down in the deep ocean? Or maybe vampires or were sharks? I hope there are were sharks, not here, but down there. Dad, if you leave me here, some fish will adopt me and make me live in the ocean. I don't want to eat krill! I can't find you, it's too dark. What if something else was down here with us and I thought it was you and held its hand and it took me and raised me as its daughter, but it was a monster! That'd be all right. Oh, he isn't mean, just misunderstood and ugly. Are you sure that's where that goes, Dad? That fish is really, really scary. Scarier than that other fish or the one before that. Shine lights in his eye, Dad. Blind him. Blind him. Daddy, is that you? I'm lost. How do I get out of here? This is scarier than an ocean of a billion spiders. And Tommy, are you going to do a funny fish dance like the snuggle fish? Good dancing, Dad. I tried to dance like you and hit my head and went to sleep. Ooh, jellies. They make me feel like I'm wrapped up in a warm, cozy blanket made of jelly. Wave to them and they wave back, just like the old lady next door who glows in the dark. Unicorns are made of chewed up bubble gum and trash bags. I read that once in a book I wrote. Eee, Daddy! What is that thing? Help! I guess this place wasn't so scary after all. Thanks, Daddy. What's wrong, Daddy? You sound like mommy when she sees the house after you made breakfast. Don't be scared. Escalators are just stairs with attitude. You can do it. A princess can do anything he or she wants to. I can't see. Are there any more lights around here? Thanks, Dad. Nothing can scare me now. Hold on, Dad. I'm coming over to help. The light is like ketchup. I got to shake it out all over the floor. Ketchup is red, though. Don't run off without me. Okay, Dad. Lift your legs up high, Dad. You have to be more careful. Daddy! Did you push me? This is giving me an upset tummy. <clears throat> hey! Oh, come on! Hey! Hey! Ah! Hey! Ouch! Uh, ouch! Ow! Ah! ah yeah. la, 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 How's that one song go? Space horse, space horse, drink your milk, drink your juice. Then G, then A, then B, B, B. Not now. I'm composing my masterpiece. Yay! Yay! I want to see a snuggle fish. Dad, where do rainbows come from? Oh, where do flowers come from? Neat! I hope there are no shrimp. Shrimp are the spiders of the sea. Well... That cloud looks like a butterfly. <gasps> well, can the town have a wizard princess in it? Lady Stacy defends the town. I saw a blue jay the other day and a cardinal. Do you think they're going to live in the birdhouse? Cute purple ones. <sighs> Tommy, why do you have so many footballs? Oh, now I get it. They're like dollies. Some are for playing house and some are for playing space dolly and some... They're like dollies. Ooh! Mom's gonna say loud, fast things to you. I love the new slide, Dad. You should try it. <gasps> Dad, when you chop trees, do they feel pain? Ow, Dad! Tommy is feeding ants. Dad, you have to blow on the weeds and make a wish. Sometimes I wish I could be purple. Are aliens real? That's not what Mom said. Tommy? Can I borrow your flashlight later tonight? If you put your finger over it and turn it on, you can see your finger bones. Dad, are we going to build a tree castle this summer? Hmm, no. Wizard Princess is living castles. I heard if one of those seeds gets in your ear, it'll make a weed grow out of the top of your head. Oh no! I hope there weren't any eggs in there. The worms are wiggling. I'm just trying to make a potion. But my potion's already real. <laughs> Mom, Dad said we could get a horse for the backyard. It'll eat the grass and be our new super cool furry lawnmower. Birds are so strange. If I could fly, I would just fly to the moon and live there. 
I was returning them to nature. Daddy, will you get me a unicorn? You'll say yes one of these days. Mmm, I bet they taste like magic. Thanks for the milk, Dad. Soon my bones will be made of steel. Soon I'll be a hundred feet tall. Morning, Daddy. But we already have cereal. And I want an apple. Dad, how do fish breathe underwater? Oh, a process of pulling oxygen-rich water through the mouth and pushing deoxygenated blood out of the gills through the openings in the pharynx. Is that right? Mom, why are there so many different kinds of fish? Is it because there was one fish and that fish divided into thousands of different kinds of fish? Because it needed thousands of special friends to swim with it and do all of the different sea jobs in the sea city? Starfish must come from the sea. Stars. I want to be a fish too. What if the fish fell in love with a bird? Would he fly out and marry him? Love makes anything possible. How many fish live in the sea? <sighs> Infinity. Mom, can I be a fish someday? Then I will be a majestic space fish as big as the sun and swim to planet unicorn. How long can a fish hold its breath? Mom, why are you writing about the aquarium? Maybe the fish eat it. I want to learn about the snuggle fish. What are you going to learn, Mom? Ooh, take a look at that. Check out that gift shop. Ah! 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 Dino. But wait. Leave us alone, man. Oh, heads up. Kelp power takedown. I'm a kelp spore. Watch as I jump on your face. Whoa! Tackle of justice! I'm okay. Take that! Who didn't see that coming? Let me go! I'll call the police! It's an alien! Awesome! Down in front! Well, it wasn't too bad. I can't wait to buy some action figures based on this franchise. Is that really his name? Who would name someone that? Wait a second. If that is an octopus. Then where did me and Stacy come from? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Dad, watch out! Sweet moves, Dad, but try not to get me with them. Nice wrestling moves. Dad, you should be a rugby player, because that hurt. Hey, that stings. Whoa! Over here, Dad! What's this? Oh. Hey! Hey! Sports Johnson! something condemned. Come on, Dad. What are you waiting for? Where do babies come from? You expect me to believe that? Dad, Mom says we're going to the aquarium today. Why? No! That one looks like a dragon smashing the town. Sure, but only if the dragon can be named Tom Lord the Coolest. What kind of babies would a blue jay and a cardinal make? Be careful, Dad. Don't mess up my collectibles. They're all different and, like, special or something. What? No, they're not. They're not like that. They're all different and, like, special or something. Well, I would mow the lawn, but I hurt my knee at basketball practice and my elbow at baseball and my foot at... Ooh. Mom is going to be so mad. I think some of my army men are still buried there. Rest their souls. Of course I had to. Do you want their bodies lying all over the house? Dad, are hamburgers really made out of ham? Oh. What if they were made from ponies? 
Geez, Stacy, dumb things like trees and animals don't feel pain. When there's a toxic spill and these guys get giant, you'll thank me. Hey, Dad, the way you're mowing the lawn reminds me of this one episode of Sports Johnson where he goes back in time and meets his son, Sports Johnson Jr., or SJJ, and he and his son have to train to win the future soccer match between Earth and Pluto, and they do. And, Dad, are we ever going to play soccer together? Psh, only Wells and Genies grant wishes, Stacy. Everyone knows that. Dad, you should have seen this spiral I threw the other day. It was like 50 feet or like 100. I don't want to brag. Yeah? Why? Awesome. You mean a tree house? That can't be true. Yeah, we need a battle horse to protect the family. Dad said we could get one. Mom, I got a splinter from the table. If this thing were any bigger, I'd be dead. Hey, look, Dad's up. Hey, Dad, I saw that crazy chef guy again. Thanks, Dad. These look delicious. We need so much cereal. I want Sports Johnson cereal and pizza and soda and chocolate milk. Ugh. Trying to walk like a fish. I can't hold in all this energy. I'm a wiggly fish. What? What am I looking for? No way. I want to be a rock. Like a billion? Mom, these fish aren't in the army. That puffer fish would make a good soccer ball. Forever? Pretty sure forever. I said forever. Oh, man, Amazon Arcade. I have to go there. I'm up to no good. Yeah, his name's Shark Joe. He walks around telling people about sharks. Psh, Mom, I'm not going to learn anything. Ever. Dad, grab the wiggly kelp. Grab it. Come on, Dad. I've seen you squeeze through smaller spaces. Right. Or like when you rescued my Sports Johnson action figure after I flushed him down the toilet. Dad, you gotta be faster. I don't blame you, though. I've been training for the big race. Well, it's not official, but I challenge Stacy to a race around the yard tomorrow. Winner gets the leftover Father's Day candy. Dad, spin the earth as hard as you can! I know. But it's cool to see it spin so fast. Oh, so that's how babies are made. I know I'm not a plant. Pew, pew, pew! Nature is great! This playground is awesome! Race you to the top! Come on, Dad! Stop being a slug. Woo, Dad! Keep going! Oh, ew! Kelp have gas bladders? Are they made of farts? Oh, man, this is just like that episode of Sports Johnson, where he's trapped on an ice rink and has to learn how to figure skate. But I, I thought it was a girly episode, but... Come on, Dad. Just pretend you're like half spider. I always pretend I'm a goose when I'm playing lacrosse. I always pretend I'm a wallaby when I'm playing racquetball. I always pretend I'm an armadillo when I'm playing dodgeball. Dad, just, um, you gotta pretend. Um, you're you. And this is, like, hmm. Just find a good foothold. Dad, if this were the real son, you'd be dead. Come on, run faster. SJ fast. What does this button do? Dad, I'm going to turn this fun educational day into a sports educational day. Whee! Dad, you got to make the slide at home that long. That was great. Dad, just get it in the things. Dad, just dad, 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 just, just come on, dad. If those were footballs, I'd have gotten them in there by now. I got one of the best passing arms at school. Dad, if those plants were in Mom's garden, you would have stomped them. Dad, defend the kelps. Ha ha ha, Dad, you look just like an otter, but you're clearly not, nor are you ever any sort of marine animal. Ha 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 ha. This is just like when Sports J entered the Intergalactic Olympics and Foosball Lord challenged him in an ultra climbing challenge. And Sports J is like, there are no climbing sports. And Foosball Lord is all, then I guess you'll lose this time, Sports Johnson. But then SJ just reverse skis up the mountain. Just reverse ski, Dad. Come on, Dad, where's your sense of gravity? Did you grow up on the moon? Dad, hold on. Oh, man, this is the coolest thing in the world. Oh, I can't believe Mom convinced me to go to World of Kelp. I bet Stacy is having a great time in the deep sea. Dad, just bounce the spores into the soil plots. 
Aw, oh, man, look at all this learning. Come on, Dad, let's get through all this junk so we can get out of here. Are there more kelp than people on Earth? So could kelp take over and turn us all into slaves of their kelp empire? Come on, Dad, I bet we can do this faster than anybody. Nereocystis, they're green. Go, Dad, go! Eclonia, red! Find them, Dad! <gasps> Dad, Laminaria is yellow. Hurry, hit all three! Macrocystis is purple. Hurry, Dad, we need to get the best time. All right, Dad, check out our time. Grab that big globe and I'll get the quiz going. Whoa, cool. Way to break the rules, Dad. I can't wait to see how you get out of there. Try the wheel, Dad. I bet you're so fast, you could power the sun. <laughs> Incoming urchins. Just try and protect those kelp, Dad. Think you can reach the top of that thing, Dad? That was great, Dad. <laughs> I accidentally learned a bunch of stuff. Do you think there's a science, Johnson? Need some help, Dad? I can hold the bottom so you can get the top. Dad, you went the wrong way. Hurry up, Dad. This kelp isn't going to learn itself. Whee! Woo! Well, looks like we're almost done here. This way, Dad. Whoa. This is for your own good. You'll thank me later. Conquer your fear! Well, this isn't so bad. I mean, I didn't know plants were alive. Do you think you can camp in a kelp forest? Come on, Dad! I saw him go in a weird door. It's that weirdo! Don't trust him! Come on, Stacy. 